Last week we made an unexpected stop in Leicester due to a closure on the river. It's the first time we've visited a large city in our narrowboat. This week we take advantage of the stop off and explore on foot. If you're new here, I'm Ben. I'm Emily and this is Alan. For the last two years we've been living full time in our tiny narrowboat home exploring the UK canals and rivers. We've discovered many beautiful places and hidden gems. So hit subscribe and join us for the journey. Put her on the harness because I don't know. I'm just a bit worried about her just running into the city. I'm, I know she won't, but I think she's just going to get straight back on the boat. Can you go see that pigeon? He doesn't want to see you. Oh my! Who are you? Look at those trousers in the wind. <laughs> that candy floss. It was sat where Alan was sat under the bike. Is it off that boat? I don't know, but you're very cute. Let's not let Alan meet you, because. So soft. <laughs> oh my god, what a cutie. Have you come to see if Alan wants to come out and play? Is Alan playing today? I want to play with Bear then. I'm coming in. <laughs> I'm coming in now. It must live on the boat. Yeah. No knows. chance it would do it's that. It's hot on here, you're burning your little paws. We're going to go explore Leicester and get some lunch. Where do you live? Do you just know the people on boats will give you cuddles? Like we've just accidentally gone on holiday. If it wasn't for the lock being closed, we would never have stopped anywhere like that, would we? Probably not. So this is this is a really exciting little treat day out. <laughs> We're gonna go find some great food, hopefully. It's the best thing I've eaten out for a long time. Yeah, it was so good. If you ever come to Leicester, go to Bamboo Street Food. Oh my. Cannot recommend that enough. That Even if you're not vegan, that was just like... So tasty. <laughs> so good. Benny's just got some new Birkenstocks Long over from shoes. <clears throat> Tin Fish Shoes. Absolutely active. Follow us on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in Leicester, come check this shop out. Thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> Have a really good day. Enjoy Leicester. Thank you. See you. That was a very enjoyable shoe purchasing <laughs> yeah. moment. We're going to have a look sit through some vintage shops now. So many cool shops here. Yeah, it's great. Just bought a load of stuff from in there. Excited to show you the book that we just bought. 
Yeah. There's a lot of really nice places in Leicester. Seems to be, yeah. So we're going to have these and then we're going to head back to the boat. Had a good day out? It's been brill. Yeah, it's totally different to what we've had for a while, isn't it? Yeah, quite a tough ass. Home sweet home. Alan, we're back. I know it's not proper river. Oh, actually, I don't know. I put my feet in because they were absolutely boiling. Hey, Alan. Nothing weird. Oh, that's not Alan. Yeah, for a second we thought Alan had totally changed colour and hair consistency. So one of the shops we went to was Harry Man & Co. Look at this book that we got. How cool this is. The new old world of small batch brews, ferments and infusions. Looking forward to making some stuff out here. It's like different beers and sake, different fermented things, cider, different kombuchas. Proper nice lemon squeezer. Oh, so yeah, oh, and some nice incense. And I also got some cards as well. Still haven't eaten all of our donut yet, though. <laughs> you enjoy your trip into Leicester, Bunny? Yeah, it was unexpected, which was lovely. Which was lovely. Yeah, it just I didn't expect it to be that quirky and interesting and full of independent shops. Yeah, it did have its regular high streets, same as everywhere else, but it has like quite a few independent businesses and some interest in architecture and yeah. quirky characters. Oh my, it's so beautiful here. So lovely, isn't it, Bunny, being on the river? It's beautiful here, yeah. loving it peaceful, it's surprisingly peaceful. Yeah, it isn't that bad at all. There was a few distant screams. <laughs> <laughs> we had a great day in Leicester, our impromptu stopover. Um, we're still no closer to knowing when the lock is opening. Uh, we had a notification come through saying that there's a boat there trying to fix it or something, but they haven't fixed it yet. So there'll be another update tomorrow. So we've just got to sit tight basically, but definitely happy where we are, even though we're kind of in the city centre, it's really quiet. It seems pretty safe here, doesn't it? It's like, I'd say so. yeah, feels good to be here. So yeah, I think it's bedtime. We got really warm earlier and I think it's made us pretty sleepy. So yeah, we're gonna go to bed now. Night night, we'll update you when we know what's happening next. So Benny's just cycled to go and get the van, brought the van to a town four miles past and then cycled back again to Leicester and he's just called me. Oh, look, look who it is. There he is. <laughs> He's just gonna cycle back into town again because we want those shawarma wrap things that we had yesterday again, because they were so good. So he's going to fetch those for lunch for us. Very excited about that. He's back from his epic journey. Cycle to get the van. And then I drove it all the way up there and then I cycled back from there. I wanted to look at the broken lot. It's still broken and there's no one working on it, you said. <sighs> yeah, but they're waiting for a part. I spoke to a boater who's moored oh. up outside it. Oh, cool. But they don't know whether somebody has driven into it and just knocked it out of the bracket or if the whole bracket snapped. If it's snapped, then it could take a month to fix. Oh, what? Because they've got to build a new gate. Oh, no. So they're going to pull it out today 
So I think if we go back tomorrow, we'll know whether it's going to be, it'll either be fixed or broken for a month. Oh, what? And That's I don't think so there's annoying. many more places to moor after here. I know, I've seen three boats go past today. I don't know where they're going. They'll just have to queue up outside that lock, I imagine. Because oh, there is a so bit of more out before the lock there's some and it's a nice little town but I don't want to wait here for a month. That's yeah. not There might cool. be someone at somewhere else. <sighs> no, we turn but around I mean... and go back up the Coventry. Benny's got food, he's gone back to bum bamboo, he's gone back to bamboo street food where we went yesterday. He's got exactly the same wraps again and the guy gave us some chips this time which is really nice. I'm so hungry. I'm ready for this. A beat. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> They're good, aren't they? So good. So, I haven't really been filming it too tightly, but it's it's starting to fizz already, just Are in the pan. Are you kidding? Oh my this goodness. This is an elderflower mix that I've made. It's elderflower soda, also known as elderflower champagne. It's very low alcohol, so it's like it? a fizzy, refreshing elderflower drink that you can make just using the flowers and a bit of sugar. How exciting is that? And it's starting to fizz it already. I didn't even know that. So good. So I need to siphon it. I want to try it now. <laughs> Probably can. My God, look at it fizzing. I feel like that needs a clean. Right, come back in two minutes, guys. So I'm using these fizzy water bottles to put in and I've got a funnel and I've got this muslin just to get any last straggle, straggle pieces out. Flowers you mean, don't you? Yeah, like bits of flowers, whatever that's still in there. I'm not sure. Sorry, I've got distracted by swans. So the thing is that it has its own wild yeast, so it starts to ferment on its own. So it? what's in here? Just sugar. Elderflower heads and sugar, yeah. And water. <laughs> yeah, and water. But what I did was I soaked the elderflower heads in hot water, then I, um, then I, what did I do? I strained the elderflower heads, and then I've left it in the pan a little bit longer than I wanted to, but it looks like all it's done is actually make it start to ferment. <laughs> And I added about half a cup of sugar to what's probably is looking like about four litres of water. You're good at that. Yeah. I just get that everywhere. I've done it a lot of times around beer. Which, after I've done this, I need to rack off some beer as well. It's <laughs> It's a nice summer drink, isn't it? This. Yeah, I've not made enough of it really. If this is good, should we just go and get a load more and make loads of it? Yeah, we could do it. It'd be nice to like share with Adam and Lauren and that. Yeah, look at that. Still got the nice labels on. Should we take the labels off? But these will be pretty good bottles for doing it because they're yeah, for... a bit heavier duty. Well, they were for sparkling water, water, weren't they? For... You can put it in glass, probably a bit better for you. I don't know what plastics are going to be problem leaching with out. The problem with glass is you can blow it up because it is fermenting. Yeah, it does. They can pop, can't they? And you don't want it to. You don't want to have like a like a breather bubble thing on the top because it start it start becoming wine. Like the pressure is what yeah. make because you can drink this after a week. That's the difference, you see. So if you did it with like one of these, then so it just dripped out of that. What the heck? You'll get a wash. If you do it with one of those, then you you know you that you're making elderflower wine, and you're going to leave it for three months. But like this, it's you want it's it to like be a elderflower pop. It's like a fizzy pop drink, really. It's got a tiny bit off. of alcohol in, yeah. but it's you know, give it to your kids, give it to your pets. I won't give it to your kids. Don't give it to your pets. <laughs> well, they used to. What? You used to give it to kids. It was safer oh. to drink than water. Ah. Oh in the olden days. So now Benny's going to bottle his... What are you doing? You're bottling your beer. <laughs> wow, that's a reaction. No, I'm, I'm racking it off. I'm going to rack it right off. Which means I siphon it into 
a new container leaving behind all the sediments and the hops. How exciting. I'm filming it from over here because I'm really hot and I'm lying down. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Let's have a look then. Oh my, oh okay. my God, the smell. Okay. That is strong. Look at the colour. I mean, it looks So guys, if you could me, smell that, you'd just be like, you'd be like, Hoo! Yeah, it is. It's, yes, it's that. <laughs> Some more siphoning. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Mm. The problem I'm going to have here is... Do you want me to hold it? The hops jam it. Oh, uh, yeah. It. Oh, we've got a flow. Good work. Now, the thing is with this, I don't want to put the tube too deep because I'll just suck up all the yeast. Yeah, the I guess you could have strained the hops off first, couldn't you? Uh, yeah, but, but it's that just more, yeah, more washing, more washing up. up. This work, this way works pretty well. I found. You could cut the concentration here with a knife. <laughs> what are your toe. toes doing? Every every muscle in my body is focused on this right now. <laughs> it's like, your feet. It's like Jackie Chan. You're doing some weird stuff. The other guy. The other guy. Okay. Oh, look at that colour. Wow. That is what we're talking about. Look at all of your lovely beverages that you're making. Hazy. Are you happy with them? Yeah, some good colours happening, isn't there? Good this work. is the season for this kind of thing, isn't it? So you're going to do the other demijohn now, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to give another demijohn a good clean and then I, I'm going to fill that one. You just tried some. Are you it's happy? Good. It's good. Okay, so we've got another demi -drum. It's very bitter. I think feel like I may have put too many hops in at the beginning of the boil. But it's it's drinkable, isn't it? Is it, it like grapefruit kamikaze? The one yeah, that yeah. you made before? It is a bit like grapefruit kamikaze. But this one is going to be called Samurai Wedding Night, I think. <laughs> I may have, You may remember me mentioning that in the past. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I love the names you come up with for things. Right, let's have a litre of it then. Right. Oh no, so now what we've got to do is, I, I'm going to bottle it off, I'm going to let it settle again, see if there's any remaining sediment, and then I'm going to bottle it. So I might do that, I'll just do that when I've got a spare minute. Don't have Tomorrow many of those, do we? <laughs> Whenever that comes. So we've just had a, a tiny bit of an update about the lock, haven't we? Yeah, so they're going to drain the lock. Then they're going to lift the door and see whether it, it can just be slotted back in or if it's a more complicated repair job. Fingers crossed everybody, we really really want it to be fixed very soon because it is Thursday and we are supposed to be going in for the blocking on Wednesday next week. So when Benny was cycling back from dropping the van off further ahead, one minute. Well, that's creepy. <laughs> As I was saying, when Benny was on his way back to the boat from dropping the van off ahead of where we are now, so in the direction we're heading, he checked out that lock that's closed and he said that there are a few mooring spots. So we've decided that we are going to go tomorrow. As much as we love being in Leicester, it seems like a really cool city. We kind of want to be near the van. We like being in nature. It's better for Alan, you know. She hasn't really got anywhere to go here. And it is pretty warm, so, because there's no shade. So yeah, we're gonna go tomorrow. Hopefully there'll be some moorings. There have been a few boats go past. So fingers crossed there will be a spot and fingers crossed that the lock will be fixed. So that's what we've decided to do. But um, Benny is just filling up the water because on these pontoons, everyone has their own electricity and water point. You have to pay for the electricity with a card, I think, which we don't have, but don't need it in this sun. The solar is raging, got so much power. So yeah, he's just filling the water, so we'll be ready to go tomorrow morning. I reckon we'll probably set off quite early. And um, yeah. Is it working? Yeah, stretch. Is that your nest? 
Oh, he was protecting his lady. Oh, he's kicking her out. Looks a bit tight in there. Next week, we leave the mooring in Leicester, but things don't go to plan. This water here is disgusting. Okay, we've stalled. Where's the king? Water's literally like bubbling it's as we pass stinks. over it. I've never seen that before. Oh my goodness. Thanks so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this week's video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps us out and it's free. If you'd like to support our channel further, we have links to our Patreon and buy me a coffee in the description. Thanks so much. See you next week. Bye.